So massive news this week. Uh, the Australian National Road Series has been turned on its head. And Hank, I'm so interested in your view on this. So they've announced that instead of the normal National Racing Series that goes throughout the whole year, they're condensing it into a three-month calendar and just completely changing – it's essentially completely changing road cycling in Australia. Um, mm. Hot or not, what do you think hot. about this? Hot, 100%. We've got uh, some title sponsors, so they help bring, this, bring it up. So we're going to have uh, more media, more television, um, and it's all condensed into a three-month period. So what we had from January through to October – even mid-November will just be put into a three-month period. So for any young up-and-coming male or female cyclist that wants to race in Australia, they just know they have to be good from January to the end of April. So that's pretty good actually, right? So people can get form for the nationals and just keep form and have a really distinct season yep. and then head to Europe, head to Asia. Yes, 100%. Because, I mean, I don't think there are enough races to just race for the whole year. Those days are gone. Um, and I think that everyone wants to race in Europe. Um, even at a young age, I think it's good. You can go to Europe and race um, kermesses, um, club events, because there's three, four a week in all countries. It's just not, that's just not possible in Australia anymore. So what, are you, what about if you're on a team that doesn't go to Europe and Asia then? What do, what do you do? Well, like my dad did with me when we were 16, 15 and 16, is you go, you go yourself and you get in, involved with the club and you uh, make some contacts over there and do some racing yourself. It's, I reckon there's an opportunity there as well for an, like an eSports season over our winter so people don't have to necessarily focus on the miserable yeah. uh, winter but get that... What do you think the race... I haven't yet spoken to any race promoters about this. What do you think the Tour of Tassie, with all their history, or, you know, a lot of these races that have been around for a long time, Grafton to Inverell, mm. is this a chance for them to renew? Yes, I think so. And um, they they are involved in the first three mm. months. So that'll all be condensed in the first three months. Oh, so. Tour of Tassie at the beginning of the year will be an interesting one. Look, it hasn't been said explicitly, but... This has kind of come about because people have been talking about it for years. The NRS is dead. Road cycling is it's dying. On its knees. Is that like is that the genesis of this? Um, I think it's been getting more difficult and more difficult to run road races in Australia with the police and shutting roads and yeah. how expensive it is. Um, and I think that um, the NRS was pretty much on its knees. There was no innovation whatsoever to make it any better. And I think that this new Super League will um, will change it because it's with you, when you bring everyone up with you, when you've got television, when you've got more media, then you can go to sponsors and each team will get, you know, more value for money in everything that they do. So it's got to work. It will work. Um, it, it's just condensed into a into a smaller season. Is it good? Like. Is it good for the athletes? I've spoken to a few who have been quite excited about the idea of mm. being able to segment it and, and focus a little bit. But, I mean, what's the reality for the athletes and for the race organisers if this doesn't work? Like, I mean, if the NRS was dead or they needed a new solution, mm. is there any backtracking if this isn't the solution? I, I don't think that there will be any issues um, because – they're still the same races. They're just going to be condensed. Uh, and it may be... Uh, and I think that with um, the new Super League, I think that um, you will have more buy-in from sponsors and, and everyone else around the sports. We'll have to see how all of the details come out. I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of questions. We've already had quite a few questions, but there's an era of excitement. Yeah. Well, so. we'll, we'll let uh, the organisers and, and the backers there and get into that. They can, yeah, they can answer all the uh, prickly quest questions. We're just here to talk about uh, yeah. all the other stuff. I think it's <laughs> going to be great. Unreal. Thank you. Thank you.